things are pushing at back of my eyes. So you, you're, you're confused about that concept. Okay, so let's clarify for her. Can anybody help out your, help out your peer? Andrew, what do you think? I think that what she's, what she's trying to say is that all through all those ages, feeling like, feeling 11, it's like a, it's like, it was, really hard for her. yeah, it's like really hard for her because um, she, she's trying to answer the question that the teacher has and she's trying to say it's not hers, but the teacher doesn't listen and she's, she's like forcing her to put on something that she doesn't so want. So what does it mean to come out of your eyes? It basically, what is she saying? It, it, she's basically saying that she wants to cry. She wants to, she's gonna, that to come out of your eyes means to cry. Needs to cry to let her to out. Take, to take out the feelings. Yes. To take out her feelings through the tears. Beautiful. Okay, may I continue, readers? All right. Good job, guys. Here we go. I put my head down on the desk and bury my face in my stupid clown sweater arms. My face all hot and spit coming out of my mouth because I can't stop the little animal noises coming from out of me until there aren't any more tears left in my eyes and it's just a body shaking like when you have the hiccups and my whole head hurts like when you drink milk too fast. But the worst part is right before the bell rings for lunch, that stupid Phyllis Lopez, who is even dumber than Sylvia Saldivar, says she remembers the sweater is hers. I take it off right away and give it to her. Only Mrs. Price pretends like everything's okay. I see Andrew shaking his head. Um, why did, why did um, Sylvia said it was hers at first, at the beginning of the story, and now that she says that it, um, now it's hers instead of Rachel's? I don't get it. She's, she probably, she probably doesn't like Rachel. She wanted Rachel to probably to suffer, and like throughout the beginning, probably she didn't really like her, so, so now is that she's confessing, so like right after she cried and all, she wants the, the sweater back. Maybe trying to embarrass her? Yeah, she probably wanted her embarrassed. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really, really unjust, right? And the teacher, Miss Phillips, Miss Price, that she wanted, she, she like, now that, that she wore the sweater, now she's being like, oh, it's okay, I don't care, I don't care. Because now that the other girl said that is my sweater, she, she, she like treated it like it's nothing. Do you readers feel like, go ahead, Didi. I got a question. Why does the, uh, the teacher sees that the, that's the Rachel, that Sylvia saying telling Rachel to give her the sweater back when the teacher was right there and the teacher made her put on the sweater when it wasn't hers? It's an interesting thought to consider. All right. Readers, do you feel like your predictions are coming true? Yes. yes. Jenna unfolded the list, but felt bad because she could do nothing more than stare at the marks on the paper. What do you think that she's talking about right now? Stare at the marks on the paper? I think that she has, that she's looking at the paper for what she needs to buy. Right, but why would she be staring, why would she call them marks? Staring at the marks on the paper. Why do you think she's saying that? Happy birthday to you, Rachel. Because she felt bad. Yeah, but why? I'm 11 today. I'm 11. You have any idea? Because oh, she had nothing else to do. Maybe she can read it. I like that. What did she say? Just repeat it so that Aloudin can hear you. Um, maybe she couldn't read it. Maybe she couldn't read it. That's why she felt so sad. Let's see what happens. That's my prediction. I'm going to go with what Janara said. 